when is the time for you to move on from a relationship that has for the most part given you joy and opportunities that you would not have been able to attain without it one that is at the bare minimum attached to your name and tattooed to your very legacy well it's it's simple really pack your bags in the middle of the night taking any spare change you could find and leave with no one up leaving no trace behind about your whereabouts and start a new family in a foreign country like cuba or england Nigo is but another designer added to the long list of successful designers that attended Bunka Fashion College in Japan. Nigo has been at the foundation of many monumental streetwear establishments such as an assistant to Hiroshi Fujiwara, the creation of Nowhere with Jun Takahashi of Undercover, and the biggest creation of all, his own beep. He initially began his career as a DJ at the age of 16 with an inclination or desire for hip-hop music, so much so that his style was heavily inspired by some of his favorite rappers such as the Beastie Boys, Public Enemy and LL Cool J. Since the early years of BAPE, Nigo understood the power of exclusive releases, that being one of the fundamental tools that catapulted BAPE into the level of success that it got. BAPE was evidently one of the brands responsible for bringing street fashion and hip-hop community to the level of mainstream attention it's currently getting and the new streams of revenue and employment unearthed. BAPE is a brand that will certainly go down in the archives of street fashion history, representing the pinnacle of traditional streetwear brands and its traditional aesthetic encapsulating large prints, heavy logo apparel and lots and lots of camo. However, BAPE made a complete 180 in sale tactics moving away from exclusivity and selective collaborations to the highest level of accessibility seen, slapping an ape on every known item to mankind. Examples are Wilson Tennis, Arena, Sesame Street, Baby Milo, and Medcom Toys. This high level of accessibility being one of the main reasons Nigo decided to sell 90% of the company at first and then evidently relinquishing his creative directory position. The aesthetic of street fashion made a drastic change in the 2010s moving away from the traditional aspect of what made street fashion street fashion and headed more into a contemporary mold of fashion where simplicity overruled, placing a greater emphasis on fit garments, messaging, influence, and originality. Street fashion was now experiencing a paradigm shift that was spearheaded by designers such as Rick Owens, Ralph Simmons, and Jeremy Scott who brought a new level of seriousness and a new color palette to street fashion. Nigo being one of the persons responsible for heading the traditional street fashion mold understood that babe and by extension fashion was changing so Nigo had to make a decision to depart from the very brand that shaped his legacy and start a fresh new brand separate from babe. Babe became too large for Nigo's comfort and it was clear. Human Made was made the same year Nigo relinquishes duties at Bape. Human Made was made to be different from Bape. <laughs> See what I did there? Made to be different. Human Made. Anyways, Human Made was made to be different from Bape and followed a more reserved uprising idea of street fashion. With an aesthetic of mature street style, this incorporated toned down classical color palettes, simplistic designs, and very minimalist graphics and text designs. A greater emphasis was being placed on fit. One similarity with Bape and Human Made was that they both drew influence from American culture, Bape being more hip hop culture and well, Human Made being the more everything else, I don't know. This brand drew heavy influence from American culture implementing pieces such as varsity jackets, blue collar uniforms, militaristic outwear and vintage 50s sportswear just to highlight a few. Though there would occasionally be a re-emergence of loud prints, large logos and complex designs, the brand more or less stayed true to the simpler finish. Just looking at the recent collection from both labels, it's easy to spot the differentiation in both. Personally, on a whole, I prefer Human Made, was never the biggest fan of Bape, but this turn of events has an important lesson behind it. For all persons within a creative field, understanding when you are discontented in where you are at the moment and making decisions there and then to do something about it. Remember how long Nigo had BAPE for? 20 years! Remember the amount of success that he achieved through BAPE. This includes the many relationships he was able to form, the countless archival collaborations, but he was willing to completely start over with a brand that would probably never reach the height of success that Bape reached, simply because not a knock on human made, but more so a testament to the level of success that Bape had achieved. From his early work DJing, to creating Nowhere with Jun Takahashi, to working with Billionaire Boy Club, to creating Bape, to his many other endeavors, Nigo is the perfect mold of how a creative entrepreneur should go about living his life 
and he is a testament and he is a how to put it he is the physical embodiment of culture he was responsible for bridging street fashion and well asian culture to some extent i guess he was also responsible for bridging hip-hop and fashion and without him the hip-hop community and the street fashion community would not nearly be uh, where it is right now in the end nigo chose creative integrity over falling into a whirlpool of financial decisions that did not properly represent babe and sink with the very ship that he built all in all sometimes in life the best thing to do is walk away bad relationship walk away university too stressful walk away student loans walk away unplanned pregnancy eh. Walk okay thank you for watching this video and make sure to leave a comment and subscribe it actually helps and yeah that's that's kind of about it